How's it going, everyone? I'm Gamer 555 and welcome back to more Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. In the previous episode, we got to see a little bit of Peach's story, as well as we got to see what's going on with Bowser randomly. Oh, both of them, I guess. We got to see what was going on with Peach, and we got to see what was going on with Bowser. And at the same time, we learned the location of the next Crystal Star, so that's where we're going to be heading soon, but there is a few things I want to do, such as talk to this guy. Hey, you got your customer, your contact lens is in, please drop by our shop. Don't talk to me again. Okay. Because you can just go into a retail store and buy contact lenses and such. Yeah, yeah, just... Nope, 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 I'm good, just let me buy... Thank you. That's all I wanted, I just wanted the contact lens. And you... Did you bring me my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? Yes, now take it and get it out of my face. Oh, a contact lens. Oh, sweet relief. Thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. Oh, I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. Be careful from now on. People don't generally like her and their stuff stomped on. Yeah, okay. We're not gonna go over there, though, because we really don't need to yet. Okay. Okay, right, we're gonna listen to Luigi's story. Well, I'm just gonna read it normally because I can't bring myself to do this much of Luigi audio. Or talking like Luigi. Well, hey, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. What a coinky dink. Eh, who me? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. Yeah, it's a bad scene, alright. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. If you gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. It was pretty crazy, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. We're gonna listen to it. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you wanna hear, bro? The Waffle Kingdom letter. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. My big brother, that's you. Bro got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind his usual life, was cooking a snack at home when another letter arrived. We don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh? This is what the letter said. Sirs, my name is Craig. I am a cabinet minister in the far of Waffle Kingdom. A land has been attacked by the Chestnut King who took our Princess Eclair. I ask Nay beg for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I only request your prompt, sirs. Or re prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Craig. Well, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went something like that. With Mario, that's you, bro, gone, it fell to me to answer this plea. As it ain't only a teensy bit, I looked to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh no, first I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking, then I left. Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met Minister Crepe, who filled me in. The Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess Eclair and Vanish. Apparently though, some oracle said a marvelous compass could locate her. This marvelous compass has been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse. And those parts had been scattered across the land? Can you believe it, bro? Each part of the marvel marvelous compass was said to point to the next. And since one of the parts was embedded in the tiara worn by the princess, I summarized that I, once I collected all the parts, I'd find her. Smart, huh? The minister gave me the compass base spoken of in waffler, waffler fables. When it activated, the entire thing lit right up, indicating the deep south. It was pointing me toward Rumble Bump Volcano on the Pudding Continent. So yeah, here I am. I'm, a, I'm sailing out of Roadport Ro from Rumble Bump Volcano. It's probably going to be pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue that princess. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Alright. The Waffle Kingdom. Alright. Oh. How I wish they would turn that paper Luigi story he's got going on there into a real game. How amazing would that be? Just, that would have been, they really need to do that. No, no lie, but they need to. Alright, uh, I want to upgrade. I think I actually can upgrade. Oh, I can up, yeah, I can. Good, we're gonna do Goombella first. Okay, cause, oh wait, it costs three, ooh. Maybe I should have done Coops. Oh, I should have done coops. I didn't know it was three. 
Oh yeah. Shazubi and such. I didn't mean to I thought it cost a one. I was thinking of Pick like, Mario 64. Whoops! Umbella really didn't need that. Now she's got as much health as Mario. So what move did she learn? multi bonk Oh, oi, oi, oi. Why did I do that? Why in the world did I do that? You know, we're gonna go beat this guy up. Whoa, whoa, hold up now. If you want to pass through here, you gotta pay ten coins. We're gonna fight this guy. Maybe if I die, then I can go and re-upgrade with Goops. Now, you gotta be kidding me. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your worst of guy. Let's get this already started. Yeah, we're gonna paddle first. Ah, uh, that's Gus. He's a super annoying. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. Max HP is 20. Yada yada yada. We're gonna go wreck him. Oh dang, you're powerful. Okay, well, I want to get Queen Bella out of here because she's really not going to help me that much. I don't She just won't help me that much in this fight. Because I don't think you can jump on her. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... The sunshine, or the shine sprite bingo is the best bingo in there. Alright, we're done. We can take it off. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Oof. That Gus, get you out of my face. Crud, you dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh, don't you? Sure. Okay, let's get going. Enough extra. Alright. I'm gonna pull Kumbella back out, actually. I kind of forgot I could do that actually. It just slipped my mind last episode. But then I remembered, I'm like, oh yeah. Mari, did you see that? That was one of the things Professor Frankly described. Indeed, and we're gonna go follow it. Don't eat me! I don't like to make noises like that, especially because I'm in. I, I don't know, I just don't like to make a lot of the screeching and giggling sounds. It was all my kind of sounds. <laughs> anyway, huh? Uh, you didn't come to eat me? And you're not bullies? Guess again, nerd. No, I, I'm not gonna be mean to this guy. For real? Whew, boy, that's good. I thought for a second it might have an accident. Oh, the creatures from Boggy Woods, right? What are you doing here? I'm gonna go take my phone off. Nuts Just don't get to even hear the songs. What? What? What did you? Why do you know about me? You know, you must must be. You no. Know, okay. No. I need my fan. It's on here. I'm in fan troubles. There we go, much better. I can hear my game and not die for you. <laughs> you guys are working for those x knots aren't you? You chased me here. No, this is the end. 
That's not so easy there, kid. What in the world are you freaking out about? We don't gotta do anything to you, so chill for a sec. Just tell us what's going on. Well, okay, this gang of bad guys who call themselves x knots came to where I live. They came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart, causing trouble. So, I've come all the way here to look for help. Mario, that sounds like those guys who attacked us in Brokeport, right? If they're the same guys, then they definitely have to be crystal star. Now that you mention it, they did see something about some crystal star thing. But we punies don't know anything about any crystals or stars. Say, could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you a... What was it? The crystal star? If you do, we'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but it'll help, if it, it'll help us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the elder will agree. So what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. Really? You weren't joking? You'll do it? I guess. I mean, we can't just ignore them, right? And we need to find the crystal star before those X not or X whatever guys do. Oh, thank you so much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name is Punio. Pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? It's this way. Wait, hang on a second. I'm sure the Pino would have said some button around here opened the secret entrance. Aha! Magic. You can get to the woods. We Pino's live in by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry. Let's go. The Great Ugly Tree. This isn't one of my favorite chapters. Definitely not. I mean, it's a nice world, though. But it's not my favorite place in the game. Yeah. These are the Boggly Woods. They should look boggling. Ooh, I've got butterflies. I'm okay, just a bit free then. We should be able to see the great tree. The elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister too. Come on, let's go. Oh, are you the boggly woods. Gotta get ready to do some more tattling. There's gonna be new enemies here. <laughs> Time to go to work, lovelies. Vivian, you understand what we've got to do, yes? <laughs> A, find that Mario guy, and B, steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Oh, well, bad things happen all the time, Vivian. But you're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm, what's this now? Vivian, what's that you're fawning over there? Oh, what you mean this? I found it near that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely, I just had to pick it up. Hmm, <laughs> Vivian, for shame. Picking up someone's scraps. Disgusting. Greedy. But enough about that. Vivian, my dear pack rat. Bring out the sketch of that Mario guy that you got from Groves. Mooihee. <laughs> You... what? I, I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You are in charge of it. You wretched little worm. Blaming me for something you probably screwed up. But I... Get up, get up. Oh, what is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? A mustachioed fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf. Save your games for later. Now, now, where was it? You, Vivian, don't tell me you lost your precious sketch. But, listen, I... Well, it's not my fault, I never had the sketch. Silence, you dits. 
Such impudence. How dare you talk so back to me like some rebellious child? It's clear to me that the only rational rationale your type understands is force. For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But, but build them. Oh, you're horrid. Oh, what am I to do? Oh, go, go? What is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave us, scram, right now. I have no business with you. Okie dokie. I'll let just to keep it going. I got struck a first. <laughs> oh, wow, I just got wrecked. Okay, we're gonna paddle you first because why not? That's a pale piranha, you know about these guys, they're f the famous piranha plants. This colors it. colorless subspecies is adapted to boggy woods. Ah, the wonders of nature. Yes, ad adaptation is a really interesting topic, actually. I like to talk about it for a long time. It just, it really interests me a lot. But we don't want time for that, we gotta get rid of it. Alright, let's get the cleft. Uh, that's a cleft. A rock head jerk with spikes on his noggin. What a rocker. Alright, well, we'll just power smash him yeah. Would fail because I didn't let go and just gave up on me. Good job, controller. What I needed. I'll just hold it harder. Stupid cleft. We're gonna luck. God. Oh! Yeah, we're gonna strike first. I need to hopefully be able to hurt him. Will I be able to? Yeah, that's a no. That is great. That's a no. Okay, well I want the cleft out. I'm I'm more scared of the cleft than the fire. Oh. Okay, stupid stage lights. Good job, me. Now I'm paying attention to them. My night reactions are getting really bad lately with this stuff. Alright, it's 70. I'm so close to leveling up, I almost I can almost taste it. And I would love to taste it. And now because I wanna level up soon. Got him. Oh! Kidoki, that's a lot of problems. But we do have a solution to this. I forgot about this. We've got Earth Tremor, and I love this move, and I haven't even used it yet. I'm gonna use it now. Got the skill to do this quick or get the best one no matter what. Oh, I clicked. Oh, 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 oh. I almost had it. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've done that move. I just, it, it escaped me. It really did. Whoopsie. Oh, we got to use it. You guys got to see it. I'll be using that move all the time though in this let's play. It's just it's such a good move. It's that's it, it's just it's such a good move. There, can you see it? That big tree. That's what I was telling you about. That's where we humans live. That's home. Uh, of course, it's not just us in the trees, lots of jabbies and piters too. Well anyway, Mario, follow me. You got a coupon. We're not gonna worry about going to the tree yet. Oh no, we will. We will. Why not? We have to go that way again anyway, so. 
you will just fall in a hole because my walking was very messed up there. Go faster, Mario. There we go. The Great Tree. Uh. Oh no, what's the matter? Oh well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it to a tree. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? Uh... Um... Hmm... Um, hmm. Got him! What? Where are you going? Where are you going, little puny? What's your name? Punio? Long ago, the puny older told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We can get in through there. I'm completely sure of it. Uh, problem is, I know finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? Not to be a worry wart, wart, but how in the heck can we find somebody's secret entrance? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh, oh, got it. Flurry. Surely Re Madame Flurry's power can help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. Delta says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with roots. You see, where I'm going with this, she can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives deep in the deepest corner of the woods, so for some reason Punio has trouble talking, apparently. Let's head back in the direction we came from. Whenever I'm trying to read text from Punio, I just- my words jumble really bad. Why? I don't know. I really don't know. Ah, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes. This place is so different from the bright flashbulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace. This negative image of the real world suits my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Flurry, grow even more lovely here. Plus those squishy, adorable little punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But... I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening even as I speak. Already I feel the need for drama. That moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage. On me. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. It's settled then. I shall rise again. But before I make my stage come back, I simply must put my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and make my my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. It's gone. Gone, I tell you. My... My... Uh-oh. What is she missing? We don't know. I kind of already know. Clearly, I've already said I played the game before. I know all there is to know. <laughs> if we get straight in this direction, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. No. Okay, here comes that guy. I wonder what Koops can do. Can Koops actually hurt him? Nope. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're gonna have to take the hit. Because Goombella needs to tattle on the dark cough. That's a dark cough. It's basically a tiny mean thunder. Okay. Oh, nice. We got him. We got him too. I'm, I'm on a roll today. Alright, Goombella's gonna be more stronger now, though. I forgot about that. I kind of, you know, upgraded her strength too. I'm 
I want more FP soon. I think that's the next thing I'll upgrade when I level up. Okay. Oh, Let me remember how to do this area. Because I honestly barely remember. Okay, well, Gumbella really can just knock this guy out. Because Gumbella is stronger than Mario at the moment. Okay, we're gonna take out the quest, because I'm really not scared about the Dark Puff. Because he's about to die anyway. That was well thought out. Even though it was pure luck that the tree decided to fall on a cloud. Good. Good job, Nature. Clearly, Nature's on Mario's side. You know, I kind of forgot that was actually what I was supposed to do. I just kind of... I did it. Oh, come on. Gumbella, just pick up the star piece. I want it. Alright, we grab that. We can go in here. And... Ooh! Yeah, let's get Koops out here. Because I would like to get that. There you go, you got Shine Spirit. Nope. Oh, if that fell, I would have been mad. I would have been mad. Whoa, I was not even ready. I didn't even see him. I mean, I kind of saw him, but... scared me. Oh wait, no, I have a chance here. Okay, we can knock him out. Now this guy, if he doesn't go up, he don't go up. Thank you. I can just hit him with a hammer. It's a wooden hammer, it's not like it's gonna electrocute him. Oh, I need two more experience though. Because I want to get my FP up. That would be really nice to have more FP here now. Mm -hmm. There's the Look, they're in the distance. That's what I was telling you about. Flurry's place. That felt... That was probably useless as heck. To do that. Why did I do that? Seriously. I've had Koops hanging out with me all the time. I, I want to keep having Goombell out right now. Jump, jump, pull them, jump, jump. Jumpity, 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 jump! Flurry's house. Uh, excuse me. Um, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Well, we're gonna end off the episode right here, because we are just about 30 minutes. We're about, about, I would say 28. So... I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. The next one's gonna be just as fun. I'm actually really excited to do it. I feel like I went a little further than I needed to in this episode, but this is a perfect spot to stop. Ow, I just punched my desk. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, definitely share your support. Hit that like button. Subscribe for more Paper Mario. Thousand your door. And I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye.